Right, this is my um, my first effort at trying to give myself a, a bolus feed um, whilst I'm at work. Um, I'm in Tesco's car park on Abbeydale Road in Sheffield um, and I've got everything ready so I'm going to give myself the feed. Um, so you get your pH paper and a syringe. Um, before it goes in um, you need to make sure the tube is definitely still in your stomach. Um, so you get your pH paper and I will just take some of the scraps of tape I've got fill it to my face off and get everything out um, and I will draw some contents off of my stomach hopefully um, so I'll just pull that out you can see some nice yellow stomach contents coming out. Okay. It's a bit strange doing this with people walking past my windscreen. Um, I then pull that onto some pH paper. And I've got a nice pH of... show you that. So that is a pH of, of 2. You can't see that very well. Probably about 2, 2.5. Okay and it needs to be 5.5 or below for me to, to feed. So I am okay to, to feed. So I will um, pour myself some water. I am using bottled water because that's actually all I've got available um, out and about. Usually we would ask patients to take it out of the tap. And I will... Because I am quite thirsty, I haven't had a drink or a flush for a few hours. I'm going to have a bit of water. and then push that, that through. This feels very, very weird. Um, I can feel it's really cold going across my cheek and then um, the next time I feel it is at the back of my throat and it feels, it feels just really, really cold. This has just come out of the supermarket shelf. So I imagine it's just below room, right, normal room temperature um, and it actually feels like there's, there's liquid running down the back of my throat which at the first time I did it freaked me out a little bit because I thought maybe the tube was not in the in the right place um, and now yeah, I'm sort of getting used to it but it still feels a bit weird it does feel like the tube's just um, you know there's holes in the tube at the back of my throat don't feel anything further down really so that's the a flush of water gone down it also, which is another thing I wasn't expecting, um, as soon as I put something into my stomach, whether that's feed or or um, or water, is it makes me slaver a lot. So producing a lot of saliva. Um, right, so I'm gonna just pour this bit out my door, so I don't need all that. Okay, so what I'm having for my lunch today is I'm having one 46 compact and one 46 compact fiber. Um, I've already had a couple of these today already, um, so I already know that you cannot get a 46 compact down um, that easily by plunging it. Um, they're just they're just too thick. Um, so I will pour my 46 into here. And I will dilute it down. So that's 125 mils of 40 sip. I'll probably just dilute it down with another 50 mils or so of water. Um, what I've just realised I haven't got is any tissue. Um, because you cannot help but get feed all over the end of the syringe which then does go everywhere. So 
Um, I am actually going to open up one of my dressing packs and just get out a little bit of gauze to use. Um, this is one of the things I have realised is that you do need to do quite a lot of planning to be able to um, feed outside of the house um, as well as just remembering the syringes and the um, the feed you also need to think about your water you need to think about your pH paper you need to think about how you're going to wipe the, the end of the syringe when you're feeding um, and I'm not so good at that just yet so I'm forgetting a few things so what I'll do is I'll just give myself my feed this might take a little while because um, I am going to have another one afterwards as well so this is my feed and this takes a lot more pushing down than the water even though I've diluted it and again I get that same feeling going down the back of my throat um, of um, yeah it's quite cold and it makes you swallow a lot so it triggers a swallow I guess that wouldn't be the same in somebody who didn't have a swallow um, as a lot of our patients don't but for me it sort of triggers a swallow at the back of my throat so let's get that as you see it takes quite a bit of a, a push to get that down that's without 50 mils of water could probably do with a, a little bit less but I guess what we're always thinking then with patients is that it's the total volume you're then asking them to have just to get the, the feed down just started to develop a bit of a uh, runny nose which is really 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 annoying I don't know if it's the um, it's the tube or um, or yeah I have just got a runny nose but it just feels like constantly I've got snot coming out of my nostrils and obviously it's very difficult to blow the nostril that's got a tube stuck up it getting some strange looks What I'll do is I'll just stop filming just now and I'll come back um, when I'm finishing off.